Welcome to the Ordinary Marathoner Podcast. Good morning and welcome to the Ordinary Daily Version of the Ordinary Marathoner Podcast. My name is Scott. I'll be your host today. It is Tuesday, May 7th. Got 82 days left until Lake Placid. A uh, busy day here. Busy day here yesterday. We're packaging up, trying to get all the stuff from an Ordinary Marathon finished. Uh, got most of the packages for the prizes and the giveaways. Got most of those things all wrapped up. Uh, we're going to try to get them out today. Stephanie says we're getting them out today. I would usually believe her. Uh, we have a lot going on, though. It's like one of those things. We're getting them out today. And then I look at our schedule and what we have to do. They might go out tomorrow, just so you know. Just don't tell Stephanie that. Um, she gets mad. Uh, it's just, you know, I can see, you know what it is? Something about it. Like I, I can look at our schedule and say, we don't have enough time to do all this and then try to get 10 packages to the post office. Um, I don't think that's happening. So I think they're going out tomorrow. Um, but anyway, what do we have to do today? Uh, you know, aside from the normal morning, um, Stephanie's been sick. She's going to the doctor. Uh, I don't know. She just had like sinus headache and I don't know. It's just, it's not going away for a few days. So she's going to the doctor. Uh, I got to take our dog to the vet. Um, last night we were watching TV and Stephanie was petting his back and found like this big lumpy abscess thing on his back. And he's like, you know, the dog's in great spirits. He's 12 years old. So he's at that point where you start, you know, it's like, it's a terrible thing what happens with dogs, right? I mean, well, you know, if, if if he's got like a little lump on his back and he's one year old, you're like, eh, you know, he's in good spirits. He's fine. When he's 12, every little thing worries you, you know, every little thing makes you think, uh, think the worst. So I got to get him to the vet right away. Check this thing out. Hopefully it's nothing. Like I said, the dog's in, he's got incredible energy. He's been fine. It's just like a weird thing. It's like, I got, you know, it's like, it's like there's gum stuck in his coat, but it's not gum. It's like attached to him. It's like a growth. Uh, it looks really gross and, and whatever, but it's, uh, he's got to get that checked out. Hopefully it's nothing. Um, but we'll find out hopefully today. So a lot of things going on today, obviously, you know, when you talk about training. So yesterday, um, from a, a training perspective, uh, I did, lo- uh, sorry, upper body. Uh, that's going really well. I tell you, you know what, there's nothing like when you first start a workout plan, right? And you haven't been working out for a while and, you know, you start lifting and you do, you lift for two, for two weeks and all of a sudden the, the weight that you're doing, you're kicking out a lot of reps and you have to, you know, you actually have to go up in weight. It's just, it's kind of like a good feeling to know that you're progressing. So I'm kind of hitting that point. I, you know, I think I've been lifting now for a little over a month, maybe a month or two. And it's like, uh, you know, it's like rapid increase in, in, the, in the strength, which is really good. It's like a really good zone to be in. And then, you know, eventually you do cap out. Um, and things kind of steady, but right now I'm in like that zone where it's like, ah, throw some more weights on, throw some more, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a good, it's a good feeling. Um, so we did the upper body yesterday. Then we did, uh, yoga, my phone actually, you know, so I use my phone. I, I put YouTube on the phone. I have like a little, like a little tripod for my phone for, for filming, uh, which I rarely use, but I use it for, I put the YouTube on, I, I set it up and I do the yoga right on my, on my carpet in, in the basement, in the studio. Um, and it works and we're about halfway through the yoga routine and my battery dies. And, uh, you know, I'm still using the 6S and, uh, it's about time. I think I get a new phone. It's about time. Uh, Verizon's been on me cause I'm going over some data. You, it's just, it's insane. It's just one of those times where it's like, all right, it's like, I got to capitulate and get a new phone. Um, and it's so funny because, you know, when I was a kid, right, I think I probably went from uh, birth to maybe 15 years old using the same phone. And my daughter still doesn't understand how we were like tethered to the wall and only one person in the house could use the phone at once. So we were constantly yelling at each other, get off the phone, get off the phone. Um, that concept blows her mind that we had to do that back then. But uh yeah, it seems like, you know, back then phones weren't that expensive and you just you kept the same one. It was on the wall. You kept it forever. You never had to buy a new one. Now you got to get a new one like every year. Not only are they more, way more technologically advanced and you can put them in your pocket and you can, and it has 
the entire knowledge base of of humankind <laughs> on it. But uh, if you know, you have to get a new one every year, and I blame iOS for that. I still do. I, I still think that they they rigged that. So every time you download a new operating system. You had to go buy a new phone. This one I've had a while, though. This is probably like, I want to say two or three years. I think three years on this one. So I really shouldn't complain. You know, I mean, these they're expensive. And then you throw them on your monthly plan. And it, so it doesn't look as expensive. But you know, it's expensive. Uh, you're just a sucker like everybody else. And um, I don't know. So now this thing's it, like it's plugged in right now. You can see like I have the charger plugged in and it's not charging. Like I would literally have to sit here and kind of finagle the wire to make it charge right. And uh, it's about time because one day what's going to happen, I'm going to plug it in and it's even if I finagle the wire, it's not going to work. And then all my stuff is just everything's going to die. And who knows? It's like one of those things where you get everything carried over to your new phone. It's stuff in the cloud. I got pictures of Ellie, pictures of Sam that I never want to lose. And who knows? Things just crazy. So new phone, put that on the list. I got to bring my car in. It's a lease. It's almost over. Uh, It's got a dent in it. I'm really looking forward to see how much they charge for me, charge me for the dent. Um, but I need something, I need something with a, uh, with a bike hitch. I got to get a bike hitch for Lake Placid and for, uh, for Matre Blanc. Matre Blanc. So someone told me that I, I pronounced Matre Blanc wrong. And, uh, I, you know, that I don't, I don't pronounce the last T, which would be Trebla. I'm like, that's what the, isn't that the, like the French just like, they take a pretty looking word and they just like, like that's, that's mantra blah. And somehow they know, they know what that means. Uh, but I'm not French. So I'm going with, you know what? I mean, let's Americanize this. Let's go with mantra blanc. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, and that's what we got in, in late June. We're about a month away from that. Wow. I wasn't even thinking about that, but geez, about a month away from that 70.3. I'm ready for that one. That one's in the bag. That one's going to be good. It's a good training one for uh, for Lake Placid too. So very psyched about that. As far as today's training goes, I've got a busy day today. So I'm going to kick out that, that morning strength training. It's going to be lower body today and uh, and yoga. Day 17 of my 30-day yoga journey. I'm surprised I've been as consistent with it as I have been. Um, you know, I started it thinking, well, I started it thinking like a very skeptical, you know, a skeptical, skeptical a little interested, then a little more interested, and now uh, you just sign me up. I'm in it almost uh, pretty much every weekday morning. I'm, I'm, I'd say on the mat, but really for me, it's on the carpet. That's where I am. Um, getting it done, getting it done. And I got to tell you, like, so yesterday I'm like, I'm stretching out, and I, I, I just, I, I stretched out my leg. And normally, like, I can't extend my leg fully. Like, I always, you know, if I bend my knee a little bit. Like if I beg, you know, I, I bend, sorry, I guess it'd be my hip a little bit. Like I can't extend my knee fully. And some, some reason yesterday I was able to do that. I'm like, wow, things are improving. Like it's helping. It's helping guys. I, I you know, I hate to seem like a yogi fanatic, uh, but I think it's helping. I do. Uh, so we're going to keep doing it. And for most part, it's like 20 minutes every morning. And I think over, you know, my, my plan with it over the time is that if it's, if it's helping, you know, we're going to get this, this yoga journey. Everything is like 20 minute workouts, 20 to 25 minute workouts, pretty much. And, uh, so I do the strength training and then the yoga and I'm done. You know, it's like, it's less than an hour and I'm done. And, um, I couldn't recommend it more highly. It's really, it's been really good. Uh, been really good. And then, um, you know, we did, I did the bike ride last night. I did about an hour, uh, no hills, just kind of flat. So I do, you know, I owe myself a big run and I owe myself a, uh, a big bike. I was going to get the bike in today. It's the only real good weather I have for the rest of the week until the weekend. Um, but the vet, I think, comes is, is priority number one. Time to get Jakey to the vet and check out his, his back. Um, so that, yeah, that's going by the wayside. And then we're going to have to fill it in with something else. I think I'll probably do, maybe I'll do, bo- maybe I'll do a, a, a brick. That sounds good. You know, it sounds like a good workout. I think it's going to rain this afternoon. It's supposed to it's supposed to get thunderstorms around three o'clock, so it's an indoor workout for me. Um, just one of those things. I feel like I do feel a little overwhelmed here, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm sitting here staring at a, a pile of packages that we have to mail. I know I got to go to the vet. Uh, oh yeah, we're parents of a, of a five month old, and um, and I got to do a brick workout tonight. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, you know what? 
you just gotta this so this is what you know this is what happened yesterday I'm gonna give you a good analogy I had about 10 10 or 11 packages that I had to put together to, so that we can mail out for the ordinary marathon I started out with one it took me about I don't know less than five minutes right I gotta write out the address I gotta put a little thank you card in there and make sure that they get the right the right stuff make sure I have everything packaged properly it's one thing if you had one to do when you have 12, it's like you finish one and you're like, oh, wow, that took five minutes. And you look and you got 10 left and you're like, man, this is going to take forever. So you nibble at it and you take one and then you do something else and you take another one, you do something else. And by the, you know, if you would have sat there and you focus on the task at hand, it would have gotten done in less than an hour. But when you lollygag, that's the word of the day, lollygag, when you lollygag, and you look at the package, the stack of packages, and you look at it as like a daunting task that'll never get done. And then you take one and, and start, you do ha- like kind of a half-assed job and, uh, you know, you don't finish it. You put it to the side, you do something else, and you come back to it. And, you know, before you know it, it's like two hours is gone and you haven't done, yeah, you, ha- you could have finished it in half the time if you would have just sat down and, and actually done it. And I think a lot, it's, it's a good sort of analogy for training, um, you know, some of you guys, you know, maybe not all of you guys, but some of you guys uh, will have, you know, a, a, this happens to me. It, let's just use me. I have a window of, say, three or four hours to get a one-hour workout done. And then I say, all right, I could do it. I could do it. I could do it. I kind of procrastinate, put it off, put it off. And before you know it, it just weighs on you more and more and more. And it's very easy to just say, all right, you know what, forget it. We'll put it off till tomorrow. Um, so today's mantra, at least for me, because I have all these things to do, I got. I feel, and I feel like I'm a little overwhelmed. I have a very big list of things to do. It's um, knock those things off the list. Knock them off the list. Get them done. Get them done. Get them done. And before I know it, it'll all be over. And you know, I'll have the rest of the night. Maybe go to bed early tonight. That'd be great. It sounds good. It sounds good. So let's get after it that way, guys. Don't no lollygagging today. That is the uh, that is the mantra for today. All right. Sounds good to me. Hope it sounds good for you. Remember, every day is an ordinary day. It takes you to make it extraordinary. So get after it today, guys. Remember to like our video and subscribe to our channel.